you got to risk going someplace, uh, and you never get there. I've had so many failures. <laughs> if, you don't, if you're not willing to take risks or have bad ideas or fail, um, you know, nothing will change. You're risking that people might not like it, and that's, that's pretty scary. The risk is the most motivating, um, inspiring element of of, um, of life. Creativity is how the world moves forward. You know, the human spirit is going to be creative, and the human spirit won't stop in spite of how much we try and govern our curriculum. But I think that as a culture, we need to start prioritizing it in our school. I do believe it can be taught, but first it has to be, someone has to want to learn it. You know, I think creativity is one of the purposes of life, but uh, I think in one uh, really important way, yeah, creativity is an evolutionary force. It can make you, it can cheer you up when you're feeling down, it can get you through a breakup, it can scare the hell out of you, it, it can cause revolutions and cause social change, it's, I mean, there's really, Nothing you can't do. I mean, what, what's the point of living if you don't push uh, the boundaries? You want to get the end to the end of your life knowing that you've experienced life to its fullest. So many times people are afraid when they give an idea that people will say, oh, that's a dumb idea, or you're not smart enough, or you're not experienced enough. And I think all of that is a bunch of bunk. All I need is one yes. Therefore, if I take a risk and I get no, so what? I only need one yes. I've had so many no's, and so many people laugh at me, and doubt me, and disbelieve me, that it's constantly fueled me. And I think the piece of advice would be, look at it from a different perspective. Look at failure and rejection as a positive thing in life.